Hi, my name is Matt. I'm from Northwest Indiana, and I'd like to tell you about why I cannot support Donald Trump in the 2020 election. Um, most of it comes down to who I am and what's important to me. I'm a Christian, and uh, that is very crucial to my values. Um, I look at Jesus as my example in life, and uh, he's the standard that I look to. Um, back in the 90s, you know, I, I've, I've voted in Republican my entire life. Um, it, it was very clear when I was growing up what Republicans stood for, the principles, um, the values that they held up. In the 90s, the, the mess with President Clinton, we saw that. I remember those days, and I remember that we... Uh, as conservatives, as Christians, as Republicans, stood out and we stood up against that and we said, no, this isn't appropriate. We have higher standards for our leaders, you know, both in their public and their private lives. This is not acceptable. And um, we, we held President Clinton accountable for his actions, for what he did, for his affair, for his lies. Um, and we said, no, this is, this is not what we want in our leadership as a nation. Fast forward to today, and we have somebody who has done um, so much more, just just blatantly. Um, yeah, I don't know specifically if he's done what President Clinton did, but but uh, he has he has done so much. He has not just um, had affairs, but he has gr bragged about the things that he has done with women. Uh, I don't need to repeat the lines. I know you've heard them before. Um, this is a person who I wouldn't trust with my kids. I don't think you would trust them with yours, uh, knowing the things that he has done and the things that he has said. This is not a person of high character. Um, this 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 man, he's a. It's obvious in in every debate, in every Twitter. Uh, uh, post that he does, he is a bully. He's a narcissist. He is a womanizer. He is not a good person. And it doesn't matter if he is a bad guy on our side. He's a bad guy and we don't want him on our side. This is not someone we want to associate with. Um, excuse me if I'm going to preach for just a minute. The Bible has very clear standards when it comes to character, when it comes to leadership, uh, when it comes to people that we should hold up in esteem and try to emulate. Um, in Matthew, it says a good tree cannot produce bad fruit and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. Some people look at his policies and they think this is good. This is worth it. You know, we may have sold our soul to the devil, but uh, at least we got a few judges out of it. I don't know. I, I don't think uh, that the, the, the price of, of selling out our character, of becoming hypocrites to defend the indefensible is right. <laughs> I, don't think it's, I don't think it's the high moral ground by any means. And I don't think that it is a good strategic decision um, because the world is looking at us. The world is looking at Christians, the world is looking at conservatives, and it sees hypocrisy. And I can't argue with it. It's it's there. Um, the world is seeing us. Our children are seeing us. They're looking at the decisions that we're making, and they're saying, "Is it is it worth doing the wrong thing for the right reason?" Do the ends justify the means? Are those the lessons we want to teach our children? That's not the lessons I want to teach my children. I want to teach them that character matters, always. That it, doing the right thing is always the right thing. That standing up against corruption, against narcissism, against womanizing is right, even if it's somebody on our side doing it. I want to teach my children that these values that we hold aren't just things that we talk about and then 
neglect, you know, as soon as we're the guys in charge. It's, um, it's not an easy road to take, but it's the right thing to do. And I think you know it is too. I hope that you'll join me. I plan this year for the first time in my life to vote for a Democrat for president. And I plan to support Joe Biden. I hope you do as well. Thank you.